In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have made these steps. A person is uh, uh, stepping on each step you can see here and I've just put some uh, text here, change your success. And then from here, I've put the step one. You can add the text here or the title and the detailed text. And uh, I've added some icons. And then here after this only he gets a success and you can add the business title here so I have created one more slide so this is a normal 2d slide the next slide I have created is look like this a 3d slide you can see here the same thing but it the steps only looks like a 3d and if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through PayPal or Patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the slide background to any good gradient background for that right mouse click go to format background I'm going to select the gradient background here I have chosen the type as the radial here and the direction I have choose from the center and I have used four stops here. You can see here the first stop I have put the aqua color which is the center the light color and then I have just put some turquoise color some darker one here and one a dark teal color at the end. So depending on your requirement you can just choose any color of your choice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create the steps for that I'm going to add a few rectangles go to insert shapes I'm going to select the first the, uh, the rectangle here and maybe this much size so depending on the requirement we can change it so shape outline make it no outline shape fill I'm going to choose some light colors here so this is my first step more wider one and then i'm going to add few narrows so press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm just going to reduce the width you can see here maybe this much and here it uh, for example here this is say 4.74 and this one i can maybe i can just make it 4.5 so or just maybe something like this also uh, without any measurement also we can just change it so press ctrl d again i'm just going to put it here one more you can see here press ctrl d again so so likewise i'm just going to add four or five here you can see here and i can just add one more all right so one two three four five and six so if you feel that this is a bigger one i can then i can just select all this one by one and i can just make it one also you can see here and then again i'm just going to arrange it and later uh, later on also we can just increase or decrease the size not a problem for that so this is one side we have done it so let me just select this one by one or i can press ctrl a also to select all and press ctrl g to group it now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add a few more steps here at the bottom again go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle now i'm just going to do it from this side all right maybe this much okay shape outline make it no outline shape fill maybe somewhat darker or more lighter maybe let me just put some darker color and then we can just change it according to the requirement press ctrl d again you can see here i'm just going to put it here reduce the size press ctrl d again reduce the size ctrl d again align it properly you can see here i'm just reducing the size and one more last where further i'm just going to reduce the size so you can see here we have end up getting a shape something like this so as i mentioned earlier if you want you can just increase the height of this again let me just put it maybe here till here so again i can just you can see here i can just select one by one and i'm just going to increase the height you can see here and this also i'm just going to increase the height 
so like this I can just make one all right or if you feel that you don't know what exactly how much is this one so I'm just going to select this press ctrl G to group it move this aside so you can see here it comes something like this now what I'm going to do is the next step is I'm just going to give a curve effect for this so first of all let me just ungroup this part and then go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes I'm going to select the old shape draw the old shape you can see here something like this all right so now let me just move this aside here I'm now going to select this shape hold the shift key and select this one merge shape and I can just simply select intersect you can see here and I'm going to select the same shape which is this one shape outline make it no outline and then this one I'm just going to bring it here and bring to front all right so I got a shape something like this then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ungroup this and here this one I'm going to give a little bit a curve effect here at the top so edit points right mouse click edit points and you can see here a little bit of a curve effect I'm going to give so it looks something like this so the next step is if you want to give a gradient fill for this so I'm just going to select okay hold the shift key and select the remaining uh, steps which are the top only and press ctrl G so it becomes a shape something like this and this also I'm just going to select and press ctrl G to group it so here I'm going to select the gradient fill so by default whatever you've selected it has come so I'm just going to uh, select the type as linear you can see here the direction I can just choose any linear left or right so and here I'm going to give some lighter color you can see here and this side I'm just going to give some more darker color at the end I'm going to give more grayish color and this one let me just delete this so we end up getting a shape something like this and here also I'm going to give a gradient fill and here maybe I can choose maybe more whiter and more lighter color you can see here and this also I can just make it somewhat lighter and I can just give a kind of a bend effect here so you can see here it looks something like this and if you want to give some uh, you know some more uh, line effect at the top I'm just going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to select some dark colors you can see here more dark gray color and then just send back go to formats and back you can see here and then just arrange it so you get uh, just kind of a, a line like this for the top also i can just do the same thing i can just give the solid color again send this to back and using the you can see here the keyboard arrow keys I can just arrange it so it looks something like this so so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease so whichever way you want you can just do it for example so this looks much better I believe yes so once this is done either you can keep the same design or if you want you can give some 3d effect to this if I would like to give a 3d effect so let me just do one thing right mouse click I can just duplicate the slide so I'm just going to show you how it looks so or how it works I'm just going to select this go to the effects scroll it down can you see 3d rotation preset again scroll it down you can see the oblique and I'm just going to select this and scroll it up and you can see the depth here maybe the depth I can give 100 or I can just give 120 depending on my requirement okay and then I can just choose the lighting you can see here more darker the material I can choose this one or I can choose a different one let me just choose this and then again I'm going to do the same thing for this go to the effect scroll down 3d rotation again scroll it down again oblique and here I can give the depth maybe again 120 you can see here it looks something like this and then also I'm going to give the same effect here so if I just 
show it looks something like this you can see here and here there's something i can just move it okay so it looks perfect now now it's up to you whether you want to use this slide or you want to use this slide so there's no harm in this uh, using either so i want to add some uh, shadow effect here go to insert shapes select the you can see here the right triangle draw a right triangle here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here and then i'm just going to send this to back all right so like this you can add some shadow effect and if you want you can just maybe change the rotation also whichever way you want you can just change the rotation so let it be like this and then what you can do is you can add some the headlines here you can go to insert but before that press ctrl a let me just bring it somewhat down and then go to insert text box you can add your headline here or any text of your choice okay let me just increase the size choose any good font or you can just go to the format shapes you can see the text effects and i can just select the bevel and whichever way i want i can just choose that one so depending on your requirement you can just increase or decrease this one you can see here whichever way you want you can just do it so once this is done what i'm going to do now i'm going to add uh, five icons and with one image of a, a man who is walking towards the steps for that go to insert click on icons and these icons are available only in the latest version of powerpoint if you're using the older version then this is not available so let me just add some random you know some you can see here i'm just adding few random icons here maybe i'm just going to add one more which is this and scroll it down and here i'm just going to use it let me just go up and here i'm going to use this one and click on insert you can see here bring the other side i'm just going to select this image hold the shift key increase the size you can see here if you want you can just change it the direction whichever way you want if you want further increase you can just put it and then i'm just going to put this one at the top increase the size maybe you can make it white color here all right and then you can just put any option here you can see here let me just put it here delete this i'm going to select all this by holding the shift key and the height and width i'm going to make it as 0.6 only and make it as wide and then just put it here you can see here something like this and then the last step is you can just add the options here so you have got uh, some space here if you want you can just move this here again press ctrl a and i'm just going to move towards the left so i get some enough space to write on the right side so here i'm going to insert text box and i'm just going to say say this is the step one make it bold all right and then go to insert text box and i'm just going to add some detailed text for that lower rim uh, within brackets one i get some latin text so i don't want this much text i'll delete it and here make it white font reduce the size you can see here and then i'm just going to put it for the step one so this is my step one if you want you can make it more down also like this press ctrl d so this is my second step third step fourth step so let me just make this as two this is three sorry i'll just make it zero two this is three and this is four 
now with the help of the connectors go to insert shapes you can see this line can you see this uh, connector elbow i'm just going to put it so this is my step one let me just put it like this shape outline make it a lighter color press ctrl d so this is my second one i'm going to put it here again ctrl d and then the last one i can just select here and then move it over here and then something like this so you can see here we have added the icons the detail text along with the titles and if you want you can just add some more text here and if you feel like adding some basic animation you can add the animation effect to this